The cable consists of positive and negative conductors covered with insulation and there is the ceiling and there is the sheaf. And just behind the ship, there is a thin layer of the electromagnetic screen. Now, the cable termination is the most loaded part of the cable system. And special measures should be taken to limit the field strength and assure the safe and reliable operation. So our task is to find the electric field strength distribution in this zone. Now I start with field. And create new problem. The problem type is electrostatics. The length units are millimeters, and the model class now is 3D extrusion. First of all, I should draw the geometry model. I start with a two-dimensional plane sketch and draw the cable cross section. Now this is one conductor with insulation. This is another conductor. This would be the filling. And this is the sheath. Now I can mesh them, the model. The sketch is ready. The next step is to assign the height to each object. This way the three-dimensional model will be created. So I select the conductors and assign the levels. The bottom level and the top level. Let's take a look at the three-dimensional problem, three-dimensional model. You can see these are my conductors. I can label the objects now. Conductors. Now, the same way I assign the levels to the insulation. The bottom level is 0 millimeter and the top level is 35 millimeters. Now let's take a look at the three-dimensional view. This is the insulation. Now this is the ceiling. the feeling and this is the sheaf Also, we should assign the height to the shielding layer. This is the, our screen, the shielding layer, and we should assign the height to the shielding layer. So this is the shielding layer. 
and assign the height to the swimming layer. Here you can see it. Now we should specify the material properties and boundary conditions. The insulation. For the insulation, I specify the electric permittivity of the insulation. It is true. For the sheaf, I specify electric permittivity of the sheaf. For the filling, I specify electric permittivity of the filling. And for the conductors, I specify none. We do not calculate electric field. We are not interested in electric field inside conductors. Instead of this, I set electric potential value on conductor surface. This would be negative conductor. I label the faces of the conductor with the label. And this would be the positive conductor. Negative, positive. And I specify the potential values for each conductor. Plus 500 and minus 500 volts. And we have the shift. We have the shielding the shielding layer. This is the shielding layer. It is grounded and has zero potential. Now let's check the model. Conductors, tearing, insulation, sheath, the grounded shielding and potential value on each of the conductor surface. And the last step, we should add the external air. So I switch back to the two-dimensional view and add the air block. I should assign the height to the air block and now this would be 60 millimeters. Now this is the air block. and the electric permittivity of the air is 1. Again, let's check the model. Air, ceiling, insulation, conductors, shift, the grounded screen, and the electric potential on each of the conductor. That's all. The model is ready. Now the field is calculated and we can see the electric potential distribution. Let's hide the air block and take a look 
on our cable. You can see the electric potential distribution on the cable surface at the cable termination. I can change the value to electric fuel strength. And that's it. I can get the local values and find the electric fuel stats. And I will try again to build the XY plot. Here you can see the electric potential distribution and at this point where the screen is removed, we have the high value of the electric field stairs. What else you can do with the three-dimensional simulation? You can adjust the field picture. There are several presentations you can choose. You can use the cut plane and look inside your model. Now let's take a look inside the cable. and see what is the electric field state distribution inside. And this is the vectors. 